Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, and today we're with our regular contributor, the man from Hollywood, Manny Pacheco, the man in the middle, and also my good friend and partner, Art Kirsch on the far side. Hi Manny, there. welcome. Hi Manny. I put the, I, how you doing, Art? I put the man in Manny, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, man, you put the Manny in the middle. <laughs> I put. Well, I am in the middle here. Look right. at this. So it I looks like. John, what's that? Oh, are the Art three of us quarantined? Oh, <laughs> we have to do this. Look, even if we wow. had a studio, we wouldn't be allowed to be together. This is no. the age of coronavirus. Right. That's Exactly right. And, you know, even the coronavirus has a uh, cinematic tie-in, if you can believe that. Okay, what? Well, you know, there have been a lot of films that have been made with the compelling notion that uh, uh, humans, as we know them, uh, can be attacked by all sorts of monsters and beasts. Oh, and oh, oh, I've got one. My fa <laughs> One of my favorites, The Andromeda Strain. The Andromeda mm. Strain is one of the classic films and, of course, yeah. written by a legendary author. And yeah. what and, about and Outbreak, Michael, right. more, more current one, Outbreak? Mm -hmm. Was, that, uh, was oh, yeah. that Dustin Hoffman? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but getting back to the Andromeda stream, Mike, Michael Crichton is one of your favorites, right, John? Yes, yes, absolutely. He, uh, he studied medicine, got a medical degree. I don't know if he ever got his doctor's license, but he did it with the purpose of studying medicine so he could be an author. And, of course, all his books... Uh, involve some kind of medical, not necessarily contagion, but some kind of a medical crisis that uh, wrecks the world and and his hero will save us from. What a vision. I mean, I mean, talk about taking a lot of time, a lot of years to prepare just yes. to be an author of the subject. I mean, that that takes a leap of faith. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. I don't think he's one of those guys who wanted to be a doctor and then change his mind. I think he went in with the idea of, I need this information in order to write the books I want to write. Very, very interesting character. Yeah, very uh, important. A lot of so forethought. you mentioned uh, that Hollywood has always dealt with um, not just contagion, but of course I think of the classic horror movies. Oh, you know? absolutely. There's a and that's that's the problem with the coronavirus, is it? it's right now, we're it's so new we're still reacting from fear right and fear is always a good uh, uh, uh kind of instinct to have in a movie because that keeps you watching one of the movies that, that comes to mind for me and of course the actor who stars in the movie legendary uh fear fear master boris karloff in isle of the dead from Ooh. 1945 uh, this is a, a really wonderful film. It's a little film, and it was created by a, a producer named Val Luton, who I'll get to in a second. But anyway, the film basically tackles a Greek island that is uh, suffering from the plague of, of some kind. Uh, they, they, they mention the kind of plague it is, and, and one by one, the characters all drop dead. So, of course, they're trying to either uh, uh, get away from the virus, and the only way you can to is when the weather changes, if it becomes more hot, more summer-like then the uh, disease dies. But uh, it's a race against time between the the weather and the actual inhabitants of the island. And it's a, it's a really wonderful f little film. Yeah, and it really does seem to have uh, an application to today's coronavirus. Exactly. And Val Luton it, it was a great um, uh, in-between guy from the universal classic horror films of the 1930s, The, the, the Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, Dracula, to the 1950s and early 1960s with all those great Hammer films with Christopher Lee and, uh, and, and, and Peter Cushing and Vincent Price. Yeah. But, you know, Val Luton had a, an element that he really loved to incorporate in his horror, which was that gothic image, you know, the moats and the, and the bogs and the fog and the darkness, yeah. kind of a, a horror version of film noir. And this, this kind of filmmaking inspired a great TV show in Dark Shadows in the 1960s. I so a very, very gothic, yeah. So Val Luton was able to take a very real uh, aspect or proposition into his, into his writing and taking, a, um, taking a, a real disease 
and 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 adding horror elements to it. And it was it was very successful. And of course, I think it influenced many films that were to come, including the Andromeda Strain, Virus, Contagion, and the like. Yeah, yeah. Val Luton, so he was a real pioneer in uh, I'll call it horror movie for the for lack of a better term. Yeah, and you know, I think he would have had a great career later, but he died relatively young. He was only 44 years old when he had a heart attack, I, I believe in the late 1940s. So he never really got to see his uh, his uh, vision of what horror could be like through the Hammer films, or even the, the great science fiction films of the early 1950s where uh, atomic energy could create all, so, all sorts of you know radical departures of, of yes. real life, like giant ants and them, or... And or, them, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, just wonderful, wonderful films. But, uh, so my I've name? got a, I've got a poster on my office wall uh, for three movies: uh, Frogs. Do you remember Frogs? I remember Frogs. Food of the Gods was another one. Okay. And Empire of the Ants, which oh. is a spinoff, I think, from them. That's right. And Art, you were yeah. going to say something? Yeah, I, I want to know with your quarantined ear to the pavement. Hopefully, with a glove next uh, next to it. Who is writing the current screenplay of the coronavirus? And is it going to be a made for TV or is it going to be a. Hundreds of thousands of writers right now are going to be pitching, when they can, their uh, idea of what this looks like today. Oh, I guarantee you, there's going to be literally thousands, hundreds of thousands of individuals in fact john i i think you're going to be writing something soon right <laughs> <laughs> and actually i will predict that its major release will be streamed it won't be in a theater if there oh, are any course. anymore of course, of course. Yeah. let's Why hope not? the theaters let's hope the theaters come back i, I love that yeah love going to the theater to watch movies the world well, the world they, has changed they, They've just quarantined even drive-ins, which is a real shame because I think drive-ins had a chance of making a comeback. Well, yeah, they, so they, they quarantined so them. We the, so we can watch these great atomic energy films in the drive-in. There's nothing right. better than a popcorn movie like that, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Manny, thanks. This has been a lot of fun and uh, Manny, great wait, history wait, lesson. But Manny, Manny uh, uh, you have three books that people can get on Amazon. What are the name of the three books? Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History. Son of Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History, and Road to Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History, and my blog site, Forgotten History, uh, Forgotten Hollywood, that is, ForgottenHollywood.com. And those are That's for the blog. insomniacs, because you have tons and tons of archives of amazing stories. I've been watching yes. them for years, but people can go on there and look at your archive stories forever. Over uh, 2,000, yeah. Yeah, and uh, one uh, uh, pitch for us, CelebratingAct2.com, and our YouTube channel, celebrating act, uh, YouTube.com slash Celebrating Act 2, because they just gave us our own name because we're subscriber base is increasing. So uh, go there, and there's lots of interesting stories for everybody. John, you want to? Sure, wanna... and email us. Yeah. Email us. We'd love to hear from yeah. you. Uh, order, uh, John so, thank at, you. order John at CelebratingAct2.com. Uh, We'd love to hear from you. Good. So with that, that's my cue to say thank you, Manny. Yeah. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for letting us help you celebrate your act, too. Thank you. And everybody stay healthy and well. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.